More than $2 billion worth of tomatoes are sold in the U.S. each year, but quantity doesn't necessarily mean quality. And now scientists are working to change that. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco with more on the effort to make tastier tomatoes. This is an old variety of tomato that was commercial 100 years ago. Biologist Harry Klee has been researching tomatoes and their disappearing flavor for more than two decades. Over the years, tomato plants have been bred to be commercially viable, big and hearty, but not necessarily tasty. There are 30 or more compounds that give us flavor in tomato. Think of it as a symphony and think of what would happen if I start removing instruments one by one. You wouldn't notice. Then all of a sudden you get to a point where you've removed six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and all of a sudden, whoa, that doesn't sound the same. So how do you make it better? We go back and we say, this one has great flavor, this one has high yield. Let's cross the two together and let's pick out the babies that have the really high yield and the great flavor. If we bred the flavor out of the food that we should be eating, it's really not a surprise that people don't want to eat them. Mark Schatzker wrote about food and flavor in the Dorito effect. The consumer plays a big role here. One of the things we need to do is tell supermarkets that we care about flavor and that we'll pay a little bit more for it. And if Klee has his way, we'll all be enjoying a sweeter, more flavorful fruit soon. Researchers are sensitive to concerns over GMO food and say they are not genetically engineering tomatoes. They say they can grow the tastier tomatoes through a natural breeding process. Klee hopes the method they've developed can be used to improve the taste of other foods like blueberries and strawberries. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. I never thought of it before, but every once in a while I do get a tomato where I'm like, wow, this is a really good tomato. Right. Unfortunately, it's not often enough. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs>